How are you doing, Chiefs? I'm Ian. And I'm Sean. And you are now watching the WKHS Morning Announcements. Now on to special announcements. Unfortunately, due to low ticket sales, the homecoming bonfire tonight has been canceled. But don't worry, it'll be back next year anticipating your chief spirit. Do you enjoy avoiding the long lunch lines? And are you tired of cafeteria traffic jams? If so, order your lunch before 8 a.m. on the day of service by submitting the Google order form on Canvas by scanning this QR code that is posted around the building. Then pick up your pre-order lunch by 12 p.m. at the end of the 600 hallway. It's that simple. Who will be crowned victorious this year? Yes, it is time for the ladies to take the field. Powderpuff applications are available on the SCA website and GoFan. The deadline is November 21st until teams fill up. Sign up now because the first 24 students to sign up will make their class team. The $25 fee is to cover the cost of a long sleeve t-shirt, team uniform, and a mouth guard. Congratulations to every student who earned honor roll or principal's list this marking period. If you did not have a second block at KHS, you may pick up your certificate and prize in the school counseling office this week or next week. For Artist Spotlight, Art2 students created these impressive pieces over the summer and in the digital art media and design class this semester. The first person highlighted is Victor Martinez. Congratulations on your hard work, Chief. Additionally, congratulations to Ian Marson, who was recognized as an EBA Student Spotlight recipient. Here's Mr. Domage with the results of the Socktober Sock Drive for the Homeless. Hey everyone, I just want to thank you all for donating socks to our Socktober Sock Drive for the Homeless. We were able to donate 406 pairs of socks to the Samaritan House, and they were very grateful for our efforts. See you next year. Do you need a book, but the library is closed for testing? No problem. Visit the SORA app via class link, and in 30 seconds, you'll get access to thousands of ebooks and audiobooks that are free for you to read. There's something for everyone to enjoy, whether you like to read on your Chromebook, tablet, or phone. Sora will go with you anywhere. Here's more information on this app. Reading can take you anywhere, and Sora can help get you there. Sora is really cool because I can read comics and stuff for class all in one place. I can sync up my devices so it saves my place no matter what device I use. It doesn't just have school books. It has books I can read for fun too. So, no matter what you like to read, how you like to read, or where, we've got you covered. Sora is for everyone. Visiting college campuses before applying has several benefits. Visiting the college campus provides a feel for the environment, campus facilities, and student life. By visiting, prospective students can also gauge what type of culture, size, location, and resources fit their preferences. Online ratings and information may not always be accurate in all aspects of the college, so visiting in person will help based on your personal preferences. We asked Mr. Coxum what grade students should start touring campuses. Here's what he said. Start going on college visits their freshman year um, just to get an idea or the vibe of the different campuses that are available to them. So this is what Mr. Coxum noticed about students who didn't go on campus tours by senior year. A campus going to college, um, those students tend to become more transfer students, which is something that I try to uh, tell students that that's the last thing they want to do. While not always feasible for everyone, campus tours are valuable in the application process. With college visits in mind, there will be a Christopher Newport visit on November 28th. There are only 50 students allowed to attend, so pick up an application outside of room 205, Mrs. Nurse's room. That's all for special announcements. Now into clubs and organizations. Don't forget, students interested in applying to the Governor's World Language Academy need to complete the intent to apply form by December 1st. Scan or the QR code or at Texas the form. If you have any questions, please speak with your world language teacher or Madam Morley in room 810. The Japanese club will meet tomorrow, Thursday, November 16th during one lunch. 
Come to room 812. FBLA will have their next meeting on Friday, December 1st during run one lunch in room 815. They will be discussing categories for the upcoming competition. Please ask Mr. Morris or Ms. Rutsis if you have any questions. That's all for clubs and organizations. Now on to sports. As you can see from the athletic schedule for this week, boys varsity football will be having a Region 5A semifinals game against Indian Lakes away tomorrow at 7 p.m. Are you tired of not seeing your club meeting or game highlighted on the morning announcements? Well, here's your reminder to coaches and sponsors. Please make sure that you fill out the morning announcements Google form located in the PAM newsletter to highlight your club and organization's meeting dates and events. Coaches, please write game summaries and submit videos or photos to highlight your team's accomplishments. But students, you can make this happen too. Make sure your coach or sponsor is promoting your team or organization. Follow up and even appoint a communications person to be in charge of promoting your team or club. That's all for morning announcements. I'm Ian. And I'm Sean. And have a great rest of your day. Cheers.